Good morning, everyone. So I just wanted to do a little brief introduction to the videos to let you know what I'm doing here. So I'm doing autumn readings for each of the signs for free on YouTube. If you want to get a more personal reading, you can go to my website, toadstooltarotandmore.com, and you can select from a variety of different types of readings, uh, depending on what you want to focus on, if you want to focus on a specific area like love and romance, or money, or health, anything at all really, a specific issue, or if you want to get a general reading, I also have six month readings, 12 month readings, bridge readings, and I have something called the Mystic Energy um, reading that gets put out on a regular basis that you can sign up for as well. So please go check that out if you're interested. So for these videos, um, I'm just going to take a look at the general energy and also for, for I guess a little more than for uh, specific areas. I've grouped it into money, um, into love, and to help, and then the fourth one, which is a couple combined, is um, family, community, and what you are communicating out. So these are very interesting formal readings for general readings, but they are just not general readings for each sign. So again, if you want to get a personal reading and see what's happening for you specifically and get some guidance into that, um, just let me know. Send me an email and let me know what you're interested in getting. All right, so without further ado, here's the reading for your sign. Hello, Aries. So, I hope you all have a wonderful summer. I hope you all have a wonderful autumn as well. And I hope that you have watched the intro of this video so you know what's going on, and so that you also know where to get a more personalized reading for me if you would like to do that. My website, www.wordstoolterramonet.com, on the service page. You can find the link for that down below in the description. So I've already shuffled these, slightly shuffling them again, and I guess where I started, but I started right away. <laughs> right. Actually, getting the um, the poll to draw two color cards for you, which I've been getting for some signs. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow that instinct. Um, and do that. It's actually, pointing towards three, which I have not done for any of the signs. So narrow um, Okay, this one. Okay. Alright, I'm pouring three. Just for you, Aries. Consider like your adopted family, your family, uh, your tribe, family, and communication. So your three color cards are blue, activate your healing power. Emerald, calm your mind, body, and soul. And brown, establish boundaries. And I'm thinking for some of you that. A big part of your healing at this time is going to be about establishing appropriate boundaries. Alright, where do I want to start? I'm going to start by reading the Tree Oracle book <clears throat> so I can just get that message out there where it can start. Inverse, that's what I call it. Inverse. Where are you? I'm 
the keyword for this is anchoring. Just so won't take on. Are you clinging on to something that feels safe more because you are alarmed at the thought of being without it than because it gives you pleasure? Try to avoid holding on to people, possessions, or situations for fear of losing them. Okay. What do we have going on here? Alright. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. For some of you, there have been deaths or there have been people who have moved away in your family or your extended family, people that you're very close to. Um, I can tell. Um, so, um, I'm just going to read it here. In family, extended family, friends, and communication, you have the sorrow card. And this card is about issues or times in our life where we feel very overwhelmed with sorrow, where things seem very gray, where we have a very hard time seeing any light in the situation, seeing any good in the situation. The message of this card is that there is always something there. There's always some good, there's always something that we still enjoy about life. Um, something that's not sad and we have after a while we have it is healthy to mourn if that's what's going on it's healthy to feel your feelings but after a while it comes to a point where we have the choice we have the choice of whether to stay sad stay in that place of sorrow which you know is like most of what we see right whether we focus on most of what we see and stay in that pattern and, and that feeling or whether we look out the this tiny window um, at the things that are good in our life, the things that we enjoy, the things that do give us pleasure and make us happy, that are there. Um, and the more we focus, if we choose to look out that window, if we choose to focus on that, the more that we focus on that, the more that becomes our reality and the sadness. Um, it becomes, it, it, it goes into the past, you know, it becomes less of our current reality. It becomes something that we move past and we move into the new pastures. Um, we move into happier times. Alright, so um, that's going on for some people. This may not, you know, for every for some people this isn't gonna be so extreme. It's not gonna be somebody moved to another country or across the country, it's not gonna be somebody died. Um, it's going to be like fights. It's going to be um, other things that are making us sad. We can be depressed because we're having a really hard time finding friends um, that we can really connect with that feel like good close friends. It can be stuff that's been going on for a long time. It can be that we've been trying to connect with the right people and form close friendships with people and it's just no matter what we try to do, it's not working. And that can be you can be feeling really sad about that, right? And things like that. Um, it can have to do with communication. It can be that we just generally take it on like a way of being that involves communicating sadness. Like what we choose to talk about is sad stuff with certain people in general. Um, and it can be that we have people in our lives that, that do that as well and that kind of brings us down. Family members, close friends, or people that we communicate with. It can be that you're sad because you're stuck and you're trying to write a book and you're not getting anything. Um, be all kinds of things like this. But the message of the card is that if you are ready and you want to, and it does look like you you know, you have the energy, the supportive energy and are being asked by spirit to establish certain boundaries and to um, activate healing powers so to heal. Um, it does look like you're, you're being asked to and, and supported. Um, if you're choosing to move out of that sorrow, it can be done, you can do it. It is a process, and the way to do it is to focus on things that make you happy, focus on things that give you pleasure, 
focus if it's about people, specific people, like in your family, for example, that just make you sad. Like every time they come around, you're in a good mood and they bring you down. Focus, choose not to let that happen by focusing on what someone's good about the other person. Focus about like their positive attributes. Focus on what you, regardless of the situation, focus on what makes you happy, what gives you pleasure, things that are beautiful in the world. All right. Let's go to health. When it comes to health, again, you have this activate your feeling power, calm your mind, body, and soul, establish boundaries. I think those are all largely tied into your health. Um, also, you have a card that talks about making progress. Keep going. Keep throwing, you know, keep, keep setting yourself up for success. Okay? Keep taking steps. Um, to build the sort of healthy life you want, to build your health, okay? and avoid the trap of listening to gossip, of listening to the marketplace, the media, getting stuck in that kind of energy. You know, avoid playing into and listening to others who would cause you to feel doubt, self-doubt, okay. and, and all of that, that noise. It's about connecting with, you've got the master part of it, that's pretty interesting. It's about connecting with your inner power, your higher, higher wisdom, your higher knowing, moving from that place, doing what's right for you, staying the course, okay? And again, keep making progress, keep setting yourself up for success. If you have routines that um, are healthy for you, health routine, maybe you plan your day the night before your day, and that helps you. Maybe you, um, you're you on some sort of uh, program to get rid of an addiction or something, and you have to do certain things daily, you have to journal daily, all of these types of things. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Keep looking at how you can have continued success, what you need to do in the future. Right? So maybe you are, maybe you have been eating an extremely unhealthy diet all your life and now you're going through all kinds of problems. Maybe you've got you know, cancer and you know, heart disease on top of that and it's just a horrible situation, right? But you've decided, you know, like, okay, I'm going to stop eating animal products and I'm going to, I'm going to stop eating you know, highly processed food. I'm going to do the plant, whole food, plant-based diet thing. And okay, what do you need to do? You need to keep so tomorrow, I need to learn more recipes, right? I need to um, write a grocery list. I need to call that specialist and make an appointment to meet with a specialist so we can talk about other things I need to do. Um, you know, yoga, stress reduction, potential Western medicine stuff, like radiation, cancer, I've got to, I've got to talk to somebody and listen to what they have to say so I can make decisions. Okay, so that's a step I need to take. So I'm going to make an appointment for tomorrow. Stay the course, keep doing things you need to do, um, set yourself up for success in the future, and keep walking your path. Okay, that's the advice when it comes to your health. When it comes to romance, when it comes to relationships, partnerships, now this can be, this is partnerships, so this is, if you're married, this is your marriage partner, if you're in a committed monogamous relationship, it's that person, if you are dating around, it is you and the people you are dating, if you are single, it is you, if you are single and looking, it is you and your relationship to yourself and your self-love, as well as other potential um, people that you would you will date potentially, or people, the person that you be in a relationship, um, the person you're trying to attract. Okay. If you are single and content being single, um, this is about you and your relationship to yourself and self-love. Okay. And the energy you have around this right now is higher learning. It is learning from the universe, learning through your, yourself, connecting to your own inner wisdom to be very deep, so meditation, um, your higher self, right? Um, this can be about astral travel, spirit guides, all that kind of stuff. It can also be about uh, a mentor of some sort. It can be about, for instance, going to an oracle or a tarot reader and getting guidance. 
it can be about going to a counselor and getting and, and doing work with a counselor, relationship counseling, marriage counseling, potentially. It can be about taking a class, okay? Maybe you want to take a class on like creative writing with your partner and that'll bring you closer together. Maybe you need to take a class on some on massage because you both get a lot of tension in your body and you're tearing each other's throats out. So that's what you figured out to do as a solution. Um, it can be about you know maybe maybe you need to like learn about the opposite sex or something. So you need to take some sort of class or read some sort of book on that and tear on that subject. It can be about books also, it can be about documentaries, any of that. It's about higher learning them. And with the mentor thing, it's about there being a wiser person, like somebody who's been where you've been. Um, oftentimes somebody who's older, going to them for counsel. Um, it can be about, but it is also about your higher self and your relationship to spirit we all know right um but again it can also be about going to a person for help a specialist of some sort or it can be about learning you know, with each other if you're in a partnership on your own if you're single it might be like how am i doing push me away how do i love myself more like how do i find the ideal relationship for me and keep it how do i break out of old patterns if you're in a partnership, it can be the same sort of thing, though. It can be, you know, how do I break out of this pattern that I'm in that's not healthy for my relationship? Or it can be, how do I grow? It, it can be about problem solving. It can also be about like, finding some wonderful new way to enhance an already wonderful relationship. And that's the energy we have with So last but not least, we have the financial area. You have a, an energy of, like, tensing up, of, fighting but feeling like you have to you have to like fight either to survive or to get what you want and you need and with that it's often like at the expense of somebody else it's oh i beat this person out for a promotion oh i got this job so and this person didn't it's a competitive nature but it's also an attacking nature and you know, the message with that is like that is not the best, the most efficient way to get your needs met and to get what you want. Um, there is the energy of like with that, that fighting, that tension, you become kind of unapproachable. It's not so easy to communicate. It's probably causing communication problems and holding you back financially because of that, because you're putting out irritable. Uh, offensive vibrations to people who you could be partnering with, you could, you could be collaborating with, you could help you out in some way financially. But you're definitely giving them like on friendly vibes because that's the energy you're holding around in relation to finances. And you've become sort of, it's, it's sort of like you've got all of these don't press my buttons that you're wearing. You're wearing all these buttons and it says don't press my buttons and it's like somebody accidentally bumps you up against you and you're like, wow, you pushed my button. You know, <laughs> like attack. Um, and so it's scaring people away. So working to kind of relax, you know, take off some of the armor, take off the uh, protective gear and you know, stop feeling like you have to over protect yourself so much and, and, and you have to fight all the time. There's other ways of doing that. You can connect with that through establishing, through connecting with your higher your higher guidance, right? Doing meditation, doing what you need to do to, to take care of your health. Um, finding time, a long time for calming activities, things that calm the mind, body, spirit, soul, things that calm you. Um, and by getting in touch with your inner truth, and from that place, establishing appropriate boundaries with others. If you establish appropriate boundaries with others, you need to feel a need to do that. Um, and that's the message, the message is here. Okay, so I'm about to wrap it up, but before I do, I just want to quickly say, these cards, these color cards that you have here, these are not only 
um, for this reading. For this whole season, I, I view these cards as a message and gift from the spirit because what these are is a really easy, simple way to con to that you can be provided with great help and assistance in reaching these vibrations that will help you to heal and lift you through any uh, obstacles, tension that you're going through. They can really help you to reach these healing frequencies that you're being asked to um, embody. So all you have to do is take these colors. You have blue, emerald, and brown, right? So. All you have to do is incorporate them in your life some more. So throughout the season, wear them, bring them into your home, your car, your office. As you, you know. um, so the blue, you know, doing that with blue, wearing it more, bringing it in your home, office, uh, etc., will help you activate your healing power. Doing it with emerald, the color emerald, will help you calm your mind, body, and soul. Doing it with brown will help you to establish boundaries. So I really just wanted to encourage you to work with the colors, bring the colors into your life, and allow them to assist you. All right, thanks Aries, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful autumn.